ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فايها المسلمون اتقوا الله حق التقوى وراقبوه في السر والنجوى ابن السيستز ون اوف ذا لاست ثينجز ذات ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم سيد ببليكلي از ذا فولوينج ستيتمنت ان دماءكم شوري يو بوديز واموالكم يو ويلث واعراضكم يو انا the way you talk to each other the way you talk about one another bainakum haram it is sacred it is full of respect in another hadith the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said laysa min ummati they are not from my nation meaning that they are not proper muslims man lam yujil man lam yujil kabirana those who do not respect our elders wa yarham saghirana and they don't show kindness to those who are younger yes my brothers and sisters my sons and my daughters respect is a very important part of your religion it is special in our religion and it makes it as a clear sign for the muslim in another hadith the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said haqqul muslim ala almuslimi sit the muslim has six rights over another muslim there are six things that the muslim must do for the other muslim and these six things can be found in the rest of the hadith however the point is as ibn battal rahimahullah said these six points that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned in this hadith shows that a muslim must respect another muslim brothers and sisters respect begins at home Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fala taqul lahuma uffin wa la tarhamhuma do not show any sign of disrespect to your parents do not even say uff to them do not talk back to them do not show bad body language to them don't ever show that you are unhappy with them don't ever disobey them rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us wa qul lahuma qawlan karima show them kindness show them respect show them obedience show them a beautiful appearance from yourself inwardly and outwardly but my brothers and sisters and my sons and my daughters if respect is lost in the home then respect will be lost in society respect will be lost in our streets and respect will disappear from us all in fact listen to this statement from a very well known companion hudayfa ibn yaman رضي الله عنه he said اول اول ما تفقدون من دينكم the very first thing that you are going to lose from your religion al khushu is humility you will become a group of people that have no respect that have no shame to the extent that he said رضي الله عنه or you shaka and tadkhul masjid and there will come a time where people will enter into the masjid fala tara fihim khashi'a and you will not find one person who is humble not one person who has khushu' not one person who is respectful all of you will become disrespectful and dishonest people our mother aisha radiyallahu anha said يغفلون عن افضل العباده there are many people that lose a really important act of worship at tawadu which is humility and showing respect for one another my brothers and sisters showing respect is a sign that a person respects allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is a sign of iman It's a sign that a person is a proper Muslim. Allah says in the Quran, "Those people who show respect 
to the symbols of Allah, to his religion, فَإِنَّهَا مِنْ تَقْوُ الْقُلُوبِ This is a sign that the person is righteous inside. Showing respect to your brothers and your sisters is a sign of ikhlas. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, الدِّينُ النَّسِيحَةِ All of the religion has been based upon what is sincere advice for one another. Removing respect from ourselves towards one another will create treachery. It is a sign of nifaq. Those people who did not care about Islam and the Muslims. So take from your good deeds that which will bring mercy for yourself, my brothers and sisters. And do not leave yourselves exposed. Because if you don't respect Allah and you don't respect your brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove you. And it is easy for him to remove you. And he will replace you with someone that will show respect. Al-Khadir says to Musa alayhi salam, فَأَرَدْنَا أَن يُبْدِلَهُمَا رَبُّهُمَا خَيْرًا مِنْهُ زَكَاةً وَأَقْرَبَ رُحْمًا أَقُولُ مَا سُمِئْتُمْ وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِجَمِيلِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Alladhi karrama bani adam Wa faddalahu ala kathirin Min man qalaka tafdila Ahmaduhu subhanahu Ashkuru Wa anibu ilayhi wa astaghfiru Wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Wahdahu la sharika lah Wa ashadu anna nabiyyina Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh Wa safiyuhu wa khaliluh وأمينه على وحيه فصلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتبائه ومن تبعهم بإحسان لا يوم الدين أما بعد my brothers and sisters my sons and my daughters perhaps one of the biggest ways that we lose respect as adults and then our children end up losing respect after us is when we see life as being a joke when everything is about play, constantly wanting to be amused. Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, another famous companion, he said, اقتصر في مزاحك Be balanced in how much you play, be balanced in how much you joke around, be balanced in how much you socialize. فإن الإفراط في Because laughing too much and joking too much, what our youth call banta, and how they abuse one another and how they insult one another in order to make the other one laugh. You will lose your respect. Respect for yourself, respect for one another. And you will only then become seen as those people who are immature. A person who has no purpose in life, a person who is just seen as being foolish all the time. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu Farooq, he said, Radiallahu an man kathura dahika qallat haybatu. The one who jokes around too much, the one who plays all the time, the one who always wants to socialize, he loses respect. One man mazaha, and those people who are always joking, stukhiffa bih, people will not take this person as being serious. One man akthara min shay. Whatever you spend most of your time doing, that's how you will become known. Whatever you spend most of your time doing, that's how you will be remembered. If you are a mature person, a person upon Allah's religion, that's how people will talk about you. If you are a person that's always been immature and foolish and insulting one another and taking from the rights of one another, Al-Khattab is saying here, Al-Farooq, that's how you will then become known. And that's how you will be remembered. My brother and sister, this is a real problem in our homes. It's a problem in our phones. It's a problem in our pockets. Everywhere in society, you are being told to lose respect. Lose respect for yourself. Lose respect for one another. 
lose respect for Allah. So what's the cure? There's only one solution. Go back to your religion. Go back to your book. Go back to your Nabi. Because this is why he was sent forth. The solution, my brothers and sisters, is to learn your religion and to act upon it. Listen to this amazing hadith, which is hadith Hassan, insha'Allah. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyatikum Akwam. There will be a group of people that will come and they will seek ilm. So he says to his companions, وسلم, if you meet this group of people who are seeking knowledge, who are doing good deeds, then say to them, Marhaban bi wasiyati Rasulillah. Welcome. You are the people that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam respected. My brothers and sisters, my sons and my daughters, Allah gave us Islam so that we will respect one another. Allah gave us Islam so that we will pardon one another. Allah gave us Islam so that we could be sincere to one another, we can help one another. Allah gave us Islam so that we become kind to one another. And likewise, likewise, we are one body in the dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about our akhirah. Inna alladheena amanu wa aminu salihat sayyaj'alunhum ar-rahman wudda Likewise, they were one body in the dunya. They will be one body as they enter into Jannah together. My brothers and sisters, you cannot enter into Jannah together unless if you respect one another. My brothers and sisters, my children, my parents, respect one another. Because tomorrow you will need your brother to wash over you. You will need your brother to pray over you, to cover you in mud. And if you don't respect people in the life of this dunya, you will not be respected in death. وأزكى بشرية قال تعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على نبينا محمد اللهم استر أوراتنا اللهم استر أوراتنا وأمن رؤاتنا اللهم اغفرنا امننا واستقرارنا واغفرنا شر الاشرار يا رب العالمين اللهم زدنا ولا تنقصنا واكرمنا ولا تحننا واعتدنا ولا تحرمنا واثرنا ولا تؤثر علينا يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر لابائنا وامهاتنا واجزم عنا خير الجزاء يا رب العالمين ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما اللهم اهد شبابنا اللهم اهد اللهم اهد شبابنا ربنا هب لنا من لدنك رحمة ربنا هب لنا من لدنك رحمة ربنا هب لنا من لدنك ذرية طيبة إنك سميع الدعاء اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا وعاف مبتنانا وارحم دعفنا بقوتك يا جبار يا عزيز بناتنا في الدنيا حسنة في الآخرة حسنة في عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون السلام على المرسلين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين <تصفيق>